Hi everybody in my TSDO Harry Potter group and YouTube channel. Okay, so we're on to part three, the wonderful world of wands. So in the last chapter, we finally got our hands on sycamore wood to give to Ollivander to create Penny's wand. So with that being done, now we're going to create the wand. So a talk with Hogwarts professor reveals the ideal core for Penny's new wand and Bill and Andre help prepare you for the final steps in your journey. So at the end of this one, we should be getting a new outfit. And the next one after that, we should be getting a tappy. I thought we were going to learn a new... I wonder if we're going to learn that spell too, if it's going to be something we can use in dueling. I don't know. Let's go and see what happens. Now, click on Dobby. Where are you, Dobby? Come on, Dobby. Run. So four parts of this one. This this one's called the Phoenix. So each chapter's got a different name to it. I never really paid attention to that too. Oh, we're going to see Snape. Snape, Snape, Severus, Snape, Dumbledore. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> Here we are. I received your owl. To what do I owe the disruption? We're in search of a professor with a unique perspective. A unique perspective? I don't know whether to be flattered or suspicious. Go on. We need your unique perspective on Penny here to be specific. What a relief. I can offer a more favorable estimation of Miss Haywood than I could of you. I figured as much. Perhaps if we give you some context, you can give us your point of view, Professor Snape. Perhaps a demonstration will get my point across more clearly. Help me to restock potion ingredients. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Snape. I forgot how much he actually didn't mind Penny. There. Almost done. There we go. Watching Penny work with potion ingredients was a unique way for me to see what you see in her. And I suppose that it's your fault Miss Haywood finds herself wanless. Let's suppose that it is, Professor Snape. You can't possibly think worse of me, so it wouldn't matter anyway. It is true that I already hold you in low regard. Though it is good of you to help a student as talented as Miss Haywood to remedy this situation. Thank you, Professor, and you've provided some much-needed perspective. It's given me an idea about which one core to select for Penny's new custom one enlighten us. You pointed out Penny's independence that she could easily restock her ingredients without me. You noted her bravery around volatile, po volatile potions and that she has boundless energy and potential. And while as a student I know Penny to be quite popular, you've observed her popularity with staff as well. Thinking about it all, it reminds me a bit of what Ollivander said about Phoenix Feather Cores. They're independent in nature and are the hardest to tame, but they yield the widest range of magic. That's very astute of you. Phoenix cores are some of the rarest one cores. Then we'll give it a go. Thank you, Professor Snape. We're off to see if Ollivander agrees so we can finally choose a core for Penny's new wand. Let's go. Be nice to have some music in the background, but I'm always afraid the music's going to be louder than my voice. And I don't know what copyright laws are like, so rather not take a chance. Good news, Mr. Ollivander. Professor Snape gave us the perspective you were looking for on Penny. Grogu even had an idea as what core might be a good fit for my new wand. That sounds like quite a productive trip to Hogwarts. Let's hear what you've learned. 
Snape said Penny works well independently, though also quick to make friends. She's skilled in magic, in part because she takes initiative and studies on her own. In fact, nearly everything Snape said recalled what you told us about the Phoenix Feather Course. I see. Yes, you may be right. You don't seem happy, sir. Is something wrong? You asked before what's on bed on my mind. Now seems a good time to admit it was exactly this. I suspect that a Phoenix Feather Corps might be right for Miss Haywood's custom wand. But I've been secretly hoping I was wrong. Why is that, sir? It's complicated, but I'll explain. Because you may be right, we may found the right core to try. Maybe it's dangerous to get. Okay, let's do this. Another five stars. I can't understand why they made so many stars. Like, why wouldn't they do like two and three or something? It's kind of a little crazy. There we go. Aha! Uh -huh. And now I understand your concern. Phoenix feathers are quite rare and extremely picky. Yes, yes, they were exceedingly choosy and exceedingly rare. Pairings often fair. Fail. It could spell disaster. To top that, I'm afraid I don't have any loose phoenix feathers sitting around the shop at this time. It will take time and effort to acquire one, and then we can only hope that the wand chooses Miss, Fien Miss Haywood. Blimey, I didn't realize testing a phoenix feather core would be so difficult. I'm afraid it is. A successful pairing with Miss Haywood is possible, but it would defy the odds. If a pairing should fail, all of our hard work will be for nothing. But if the pairing does work, Penny will be quite a powerful witch. That's true. Phoenix feathers are remarkable items and they yield magnificent wands. Now that you know everything, how do you, how do these developments make you feel? I'm excited for Penny and excited to get started. I admire your spirit, Mr. Baby. The next step will be the most challenging and the most important. We'll need to replenish my stock of Phoenix feathers before we craft Miss Haywood's wand. But how will we do that? We'll need to consult with the Phoenix, of course. They keep to themselves, but I do know of one who may be able to help. Her name is Pyra and she lives in the Scottish mountains. Penny and I will go to her right now. If you're right, we should be able to find a feather without much trouble. It's not that simple. Phoenix feathers don't idly fall. Pyro will have to give one willingly. And to convince Pyro to donate a feather for Miss Haywood's wand, Penny will need to travel to her alone. Then she can convince Pyro to travel back to the shop with her, and she may give me a feather for her wand. I'll do it. I'll make the journey alone and return with the pyra in no time. Should you really travel so far on your own, Penny? You don't have a wand to protect yourself. I'm afraid that's her only option. Pyra is keenly perceptive but not easily won over. If she observed Miss Haywood has made this journey on her own, she'll be much more likely to take notice. Don't worry, Grogu. I'll do my best to stay out of danger. I'll alert you the moment I return so you can be here for the final step of the process. I just wish there was something I could do to help. There is. You can tell, find Bill and tell him we're very close to finally being able to learn Evan Seguim. Perhaps it will cheer Bill to know we've made progress. He was quite upset about snapping my wand. If that's what you want, Penny, I'll find Bill and let him know how close we are to our lesson. Hopefully by the time I'm done talking with you, Bill, with Bill, you'll be back and we can finally craft your new wand. Oh yeah, let's go see him. Hopefully Penny knows what she's getting herself into. Hi, Bill. So much has happened since I last saw you. I'm glad we were able to meet. Mom got back to the burrow early, so I was able to slip away. 
What's the latest? Ollivander recommended a custom one for Penny. Our chat about Sycamore made a big difference. Brilliant. It's the best I, the least I could do to help after bungling my demonstration and snapping Penny's wand. The money will help too, and we're sourcing one ingredients for Ollivander to make up the difference. He's even promised me a rare item from the shop for my assistant. You have earned it. It doesn't sound like easy work. How's it gone so far? We got the wood for Penny's one, and now she's off to find a phoenix named Pyra. She'll bring Pyra to Ollivander so we can convince Pyra to donate a feather for the core of Penny's wand. How exciting! Professor Phoenix, uh, phoenix feathers are fascinating. They're exceptionally powerful, but quite picky. Yes, Ollivander was worried about trying one just for that. Reason. After all of our work to build for Penny a new custom wand, it's still possible the wand won't choose her. Ollivander asked how I felt about it all, and I said I'm excited. This could mean big things for Penny. And Penny's more confident now. She wanted you to know she won't feel badly about breaking her wand. I feel better once I can make it up to Penny and you by teaching Evan Seguam. So you're about to meet Pyra the Phoenix? Penny will get a new one, and you'll learn Evan Seguam. It's hard to say what's most exciting. What are you most looking forward to? After everything, I'm most looking forward to seeing Penny pair with her new wand. Like I said before, all that's gone into Penny's wand is so exciting. That final moment would be the most exciting part. Yes, it will be quite nice to finally see it all come together. I'm sure she'll be quite graceful for, grateful for all you've done. There you are, Grogu. I've been looking all over. Have you heard about the letter from Penny? No, I've just been here chatting to Bill. Blimey, then I'm glad I found you. An exhausted owl crashed into the Great Hall earlier and dropped the letter. The envelope was nearly destroyed by the crash, so I hope you forgive me for looking inside. I read the message and realized it was an urgent letter to you from Penny. Apparently, she needs your help. Oh no, tell me everything, Andre. What now? Hmm. Another five stars. I wonder why people get mad when a TLSQ comes out. Wow. I'd be pretty mad too. Okay, here we go. Sorry, like I said, no music in the background. It just sounds so dead without music. Okay. Here we go. Blimey, Penny needs me to meet her at King's Cross Station as soon as possible. I better hurry there now. Before you go, don't forget the letter said to come dressed to blend in with the muggles at King's Cross. What do you suppose that could mean? I don't look that different from a muggle, do I? To be honest, there's something rather wizardly about you. It could be the outfit. What's wrong with my outfit? Nothing. It's brilliant, but it doesn't scream Muggle. His whispers at its best. Most importantly, Muggles have a very particular way about them. It's not easy to replicate. Well, I'm sure I have an I have I have any clothes that scream Muggle. Even if I did, I'm not sure I would know how to replicate their way, as you put it. Don't worry, Grogu. I'm sure I can help you. As it happens, I've been studying, studying muggle fashion lately. I can come up with something that screams muggle. Meet me in the transfiguration classroom in a short while and we'll figure this out. We'll get you outfitted and figure out how you should act so that you seem more muggle. Brilliant. I'll meet you there. Then I can hurry to King's Cross and find out why Penny needs my help. Wow. Must be where I... Uh, get that new outfit I would say 
Where am I in this? Oh, good, four. Kind of getting a little hoarse here. These are long. There you are, Curse Breaker. I've just put the finishing touches on your outfit. Thanks for helping me figure out how to blend in with the muggles at King's Cross, as Penny requested. It's my pleasure. We'll have to go over several areas of muggle behavior, so to make sure you do. But of course, with me, everything starts with the clothes. I've made you an outfit that's the height of muggle fashion. It just screams muggle. Take a look. What do you think of your new outfit? It's brilliant, Andre. I'm so glad you like it. I had to work quickly, but I think it will do perfectly to get the job done. And now for the hard part. You look the part, but you'll need to make sure you sound and act the part too. Do muggles sound and act a certain way? Well, they certainly don't talk about wands and phoenix feather cores and bow truckles all day. Lucky for you, I chatted with the muggle studies professor so I could learn a few useful things. Get changed and I'll go over it with all with you. Then you'll blend in brilliantly with muggles at King's Cross. Okay. Another five stars. Holy Mac. What the family? Almost there. And there. Let's see what I look like. Eh, not bad. It's not a bad color. Thanks, Andre. I think I'm ready to blend in with the muggles. Brilliant. Then you better hurry now to King's Cross Station. Yes, I'll head there and see what's going on with Penny. If I'm not too late, I sure I, I'm sure I can help with whatever it is. And there you go. That's part three. And I got myself the muggle outfit, as I'm going to call it. So the next part is part four. That'll be where we actually create the wand and get to try out that that spell that I can that I have a hard time pronouncing. Okay. So thank you so much for watching the video. Feel free to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more Harry Potter Hogwarts mystery content. And until next time, happy tapping because this is definitely the way.